So uh, what things frustrate you the most when you lose the game? <laughs> Any suggestions? Wallet. Wallet, that's a good one. Keys. Keys. Phone. <laughs> TV remote. TV oh, remote. That's kind of changed the damn channel. No. Anything else? Focus. <laughs> I did a little survey of my own and uh, yeah, yeah, headphones. Headphones. Yeah. Was also in my survey. Little thing, phone, food. Who else did, I guess? <laughs> Textbooks. I guess. Headphones. Sanity. <laughs> 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 but um, I don't know. most of those things aren't as um, detrimental of a loss as uh, music would be. Mm-hmm. And there was supposed to be sound there, but uh, pretend it made a big dun dun dun. <laughs> and then, then I showed it again without the dun dun dun, and it's just weird. It just coming at you. <laughs> anyway, so music is important, you know. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't have these girls doing their fighting or whatever. We wouldn't have that guy there and his shenanigans and fever. Band girls. And, I mean, there's obviously more important things about it than that, but kind of get the idea. Anyway, you know, I've been around music a lot more than most people. Uh, you know, I play guitar, but uh, also I was in bands as many years I could take it. Um, if, uh, if music didn't exist, I wouldn't be wearing that crazy ass hat. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about music's impact on emotion and our brains and stuff. Our music impacts on the economy, and music impacts how it helps us relate to each other. And yeah. So anyway, um, without music, life is like a world without emotion almost. You know, music manipulates our emotions like. Imagine a horror movie, like, you know, there's this woman reaching for the doorknob really slowly, there's like, tense music getting all loud. You're expecting somebody behind the door, you're just like, oh my god, don't open the door, don't open the door. But, uh, and then she opens the door and nothing's there. Like, well, what were we so you know, tense about? Probably the music. If it wasn't music, it was a woman reaching for a doorknob, and she's like, why are you taking so long to open the damn door? <laughs> Any basic training montage without Eye of the Tiger, I and mean, it's just like 30 minutes of watching the guy exercise. Like, you don't have the rock music behind it, you can't, you know, you know, I don't know. Crying is that song. Some people like to cry, so they just put on music. Like, that's, I guess that's what Adele's for, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Music helps our brain secrete dopamine. It's a sort of neurotransmitter hormone. Uh, Usually meant for pleasure, like it's secreted when you know we eat our favorite food or have sex. <laughs> um, without music, if we just lost music, you know, um, music is one of our primary sources of dopamine production. So um, I did the math because I'm a nerd. But if we did not have as much dopamine production with the music, we'd be like 20% more sad, 20% less happy. <laughs> <laughs> can find emojis, but uh, yeah. So that's pretty much in turn 20% <laughs> rates of suicide, you know, stress, heart related injuries, mental illness. 20% just, just because of music. Yeah. And cortisol reduction and stress hormone. Um, you listen to music, you know, why you're stressed, it helps balance, yeah, I guess. I suppose. Music effects on emotion. I saw this from Ashford University, made a little uh, infographic about different genres of metal and how they affect, or not different genres of metal. I meant music. No, no, no. Anyway, classical music, you know, helps us create dopamine, helps us learn and memorize things. The lesson of music when you're studying is classical music, without heavy metal, not even going to get into that. <laughs> Rap stimulates emotion, language, motivation, motor functioning, processing. I don't quite know how to put that into it's better, easier to understand words. 
pop and rock improves endurance and physical performance. You know, um, watch like sports and maybe playing like rock music or just really intense pop or rap stuff like that stuff to pump them up. I guess jazz helps soothe the body and the brain. You know, soothes your muscles, relaxes everything. Quite a bit, quite a bit of things music can do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Music effects on the economy. Um, that's fifty million dollars average Americans spend on purchasing music, and uh, that's only six billion on toilet paper. Now, now tell me, music isn't important in the economy? Um, charitable contributions. Um, musicians, especially really popular musicians, just get a lot of money, and the cool thing about it is they donate to charity a lot. A lot of those, but you can't guess who donates to all those. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> all those most important ones, you know, cancer research, um, AIDS institution, children in need, make a wish, Philly, Red Cross, you know, cancer, you know, Strider's Hospital. She's donated like at least a couple million dollars, like across all of those. Yeah. I also had um, uh, what's his name, Bruno Mars. Um, he donated like a million dollars a couple of years ago because of the uh, Flint, Michigan. You know how they have really bad water. And, yeah. I thought it was a thing, I guess not. Affecting on the economy, music touring. When uh, musicians tour around the world and around the country, you know, not only does it generate more revenue, like people buy tickets and stuff. But it also brings people to different places. You know, it causes people to spend more money there, and they spend money everywhere else. It generates more profits, and stimulates the economy, and just helps them grow. Um, more money spent, more money gained, spent, gained, spent. We're going to talk about the music effect on interpersonal relationships. You know, people and less to get about them. People are less likely to connect with clashing preferences in music based. I know my sister. Anybody know Blood on the Dance Floor? No. No. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> but um, if you don't like Blood on the Dance Floor, my sister will like write you off as a person. She's just so strong. Um, kind of like me too with metal music. Like I'm not gonna hate you if you don't like metal music, but I'm at least appreciate it. Appreciate it for what it's worth, I suppose. Um, Reports of hostility and crimes due to di disagreements over music preferences. Um, couldn't actually find a decent source for that, but the uh, only ones I could find were in like Russia. I guess Phoenix can't really quote Russian very really well. No. Music makes intimate moments more memorable because you know it helps produce the dopamine, and you know when neurons are subject to neurotransmitters. Encoding memories is a lot more easy. Like, let's say you're on a date with someone, first date, and a certain song comes on, and you kind of have that as your song. You'll remember forever, you'll remember that moment. It was, you know, I don't know exactly now. But, um, <coughs> I remember this is a bad example, but I thought I'd probably say it anyway. Um, I remember when I figured out my mom started drinking again. Um, I remember the song came on uh, In Flames by Bless the Fall, and I was, it's a ter terrible thing, but I, mean, I remember that, and I remember that exact moment because of the stressful time and that. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, music is very um, impactful on the economy, you know, us physiologically and our brains, and uh, helping us connect with each other. Um, I actually have kind of a funny story. It's probably not that funny, but uh, I remember I was maybe nine or ten years old. Um, I was singing in the shower, you know, like people do. Um, I remember that exact song, Car Crash by Matt Nathanson. Um, I was just singing along, and um, my house is small, so you can like, hear things across the, across the house. So my sister heard me, and she like recorded me singing in the shower, and uh, she sent it to my mom, and, my mom sent it to my aunt, and I don't know how far it went from there, but 
Thank you for listening. <laughs>